Today we'll be talking about how, more than likely, Coyote v. Acme will be a tax write-off. Let's jump into this. Those following the saga of Coyote vs. Acme waited with bated breath Friday for Warner Brothers Discovery's earning report to hint at any signs of the animated film's fate. The feature became the most talked about movie in town on November 10th when Hollywood Reporter broke the news that Warner's intended to scrap the movie. The outcry from filmmakers on social media was swift, and Warner soon reversed course and decided to allow director Dave Green to shop the film to other buyers something Green had been preparing to do when Warner surprised him by scrapping the film. Green ultimately showed the film to multiple buyers, with at least one bid coming in at around $40 million. Friday brought no definitive news of Coyote vs. Acme's future, but there are troubling signs for those rooting for its release. As part of an earnings filing, Warner Brothers Discovery said it wrote off $115 million in content due to the abandoning film in the third quarter of 2023, part of its strategic realignment plan associated with Warner Brothers Pictures Animation Group. Notably, Warner's relaunched its theatrical animation division last year under the lead of Bill Domotsky, and the plan is for the unit to have two features a year on its slate beginning in 2026. WBD CEO David Zaslav added on Friday in a call with an analyst. Part of those $115 million in newly disclosed write-off costs could conceivably belong to Coyote vs. Acme, a 7 million feature whose fate has been hanging in the balance for several months. William Forte, John Cena, and Lana Condor starred in the film, a live-action CG animation hybrid alongside classic Looney Tunes character Wally E. Coyote. Warner Brothers had no comment one way or the other. The move arrives 18 months after Zasloff stunned Hollywood by canceling Batgirl and Scoob Holiday Haunt for tax write-offs. The strategy has made him a controversial figure among creatives, Though his film division has managed to build relationships with top talents such as Tom Cruise, George Clooney, Paul Thomas Anderson, Margot Robbie, and Ryan Coogler, who have all inked deals with Warners in the recent months. Since last fall, there have been grassroots campaigns to save Coyote vs. Acme with voice actor Eric Baza among those championing the hashtag Release Coyote vs. Acme. Observers were aware Friday could be the judgment day for the project, as it was assumed the earnings disclosure would reveal its fate. Bazo wrote Friday on X, quote, The fight to release Coyote vs. Atme goes far beyond saving a great movie. We're all trying to preserve the integrity and importance of these icon legacy characters while protecting the creative process of storytelling altogether. And, and this news is highly disappointing. Uh, you know, I have a very soft spot for Looney Tunes. I grew up on all of it. And I wish this movie would still happen. Um, I love Back in Action. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, and this probably would have been just as good but the big issue is no one wants to pay the production cost of a movie that's already been made and wbd who didn't spend probably all 70 million but partially as development began in 2018 2019 under at&t but for some odd reason they want to recruit every single penny on it so that offer of 40 million would probably have covered most of what wbd actually spent on it as most live action filming was done between March to May of 2022 during the, the merger of WB and Discovery. So even uh, talking about this story right now, it's a, it's a little bit of a miracle because this movie survived until now as some of our favorite shows and movie projects were scrapped during that time. But WBD right now is in penny-pinching mode, and but probably won't be out of it until... 2025 or even 2026 dependent on if things like harry potter and superman legacy are big hits but it is a little shocking but i guess not surprising that james gunn who is a co-head of dc apparently doesn't really have any pull at wbd as he was the co-writer of this project and also a quick note uh, another writer for this movie jeremy slater who also co-wrote or wrote moon knight is also part of James Gunn's writing team for the DC Gunverse. But this movie will more than likely end up being a write-off because Warner Brothers Discovery refuses to budge off that $70 million. They wouldn't even take offers or compromises or deals, meaning that they don't want a share of the box office or ad revenue from streaming. They want $70 million, and then they just want to scrub this movie from their hands, which I just find that very odd. But outside of that, you guys have a good one. Bye.